You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Emily Arpke. Yes. I did it right. Okay, and you work at the Brockton Housing Authority. Brockton Redevelopment Authority. Ah, that's right. I knew I was going to yes. do that. Sorry. Brockton Redevelopment Authority, because yes. there's, there's all sorts of authorities. Yes, right here. There there's are. a parking authority, the whole nine years. Yes. Brockton Redevelopment Authority. Robert Jenkins is the executive director. Yes. And you have a board. And Brockton Redevelopment Authority went away for a little bit, and then it came back. Yes. And it's working with the planning department. It's working with the Metro South Chamber, downtown Brockton Association, all the Everything. different groups to make Brockton a better place. Yes. Okay. And uh, today, and we're not going to date this too much because we're going to talk about it so it, 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 I can replay it. Mm -hmm. um, there is a brand new uh, exciting event for downtown Brockton called Prava, Prava. Yes. which in Cape Verdean Creole means proof. Yes. And what we're trying to do is prove that there can be successful events right in the downtown area. Yes. So tonight, which is the 19th of July, all the way through the 29th of September, there's going to be proof at the old Kresge site on the corner of Frederick Douglass Way and Main Street. Yes. It's going to be an outdoor event. The summer concert series are going to be happening during the month of August, I understand. Yes, on Thursday night. And there's going to be beer. Beer. Why? Yes. Food. Yes. Entertainment. Yes. Camaraderie. Yes. All of that Community. stuff. Community. Community. Conversation. And there are people that live in the downtown area. They have that whole brand new development on Center Street. Yes. Uh, Station Lofts over on uh, Montello Street. And then the surrounding, and you don't have to be living downtown no. to come here. All the people who, after every, work, there's right. so many businesses downtown as well um, that draw employees from all over Southern Mass. And um, we would love to have them come out after work. It's a great spot to just grab a drink with your coworkers, listen to some good music. Um, it won't always be music for entertainment. Yeah. It'll be all different kinds of things. Um, our Facebook page will kind of post as it's happening um, what events will be held. Um, mm -hmm. We could have anything from a yoga night to a guitarist, to a piano solo, to jazz, a swing band, 70s night, um, paint night, anything under the sun, trivia night. Four to eight. Four to eight. So if you're off early, you can get there between four and five, find your seat yes. or your standing area or whatever. And then if you're a commuter from Boston and you get off the train, you can walk down the street. Exactly. It's, it's really because right there. there's a it's downtown station right there. Almost across the, the way. The Bat Center is uh, on the other side of the police station. That's not a terribly long walk. Not at all. And, um, you know, I think people are looking to do something um, yeah. in Brockton. And, Absolutely. And uh, downtown is kind of a work in progress. The Enterprise Block has all been renovated. Hopefully, we'll get some tenants there. Yeah. There is going to be a building on that property. Next, hopefully, breaking ground next spring to summer. Right. And once you start with one, it becomes infectious and other ones follow, other yes. buildings follow. When we renovated this building, this was an old bank. This was built in 17, no, 1890. So it's over 100 years old. Thomas Edison wired a switch in the basement. Someday I'll show it to you <laughs> if you want to see it. Um, and um, the Irvings rejuvenated their place, the Brockton Times building across the way. Mm. Um, there's lots of opportunities for development in Brockton. As a matter of fact, it's yes. affordable to develop yes. in Brockton. It which is. Which other places, you look at what's going on in Boston, you can't afford to no. live there. No. You can't. You can you barely need. afford to park there, to work there. Well, <laughs> and parking is going to happen. There's a new garage yeah. going up in the downtown because we need more spaces. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're letting the parking authority use our lower lot and 10 spaces in the upper lot, and they help us and we help them. Yeah. So it works out good, and uh, you'll just see more. I want to, believe it or not, I still like to read a book. I want a bookstore in downtown. Yes. I want a cyber cafe. Yes. I want a coffee shop. We have a coffee shop. Yes. We have Elvira's. Yes. But we wonderful. want more than one. Yeah. We want, you know, we got dry cleaners down. We want other stuff. Restaurants. A walkable community Lynn, with everything. at one point, was about as bad as it gotten, and, and they've redeveloped it. Mm -hmm. And Lowell, Lowell had an advantage. They had a United States senator that was from Lowell. Listen. So we can't compare that. Yes. But Congressman Lynch supports us. Marky's coming here tomorrow to do some good news that I understand with the fire department. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, things are looking up. Yeah. 
I mean, Dukakis is still very supportive of Brockton, believe it or not. He was he was my reference for my job. So really? he is very diehard Brockton. He wants it to look like Lowell one day. So Well, he had a lot. Uh, when he was governor, he did a lot for Brockton. Yeah. Um, we um, we got the Massasoit Conference Center, which unfortunately just closed, but we won't talk about that. Um, over on that side, it was Christos, too, and it yeah. became the Conference Center. But we, we're going to need function facilities again in Brockton. There are some, but we need more. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it takes time. It does. It does take time, and it takes patience, and it takes faith, and that's what the community, the community needs to believe in what can happen here, um, and that's part of where the proof comes from, to show people that Brockton is viable. It is vibrant. There are people who want to have an active downtown space. Um, they want a place to go and to hang out, and there, it, there isn't almost any of that in downtown, um, and this is this is hopefully going to show people that this is possible, and it's what's wanted and needed. So. And you chose here. I got a reference. Are you very from the specifically, area? Or? No, I'm actually from Florida. My mom's from Brockton. Okay, there you go. So my mom grew up here, and uh, I grew up spending my childhood coming up, and I fell in love with Massachusetts and the area and the seasons. The seasons. I was in Florida my last two years of school at University yeah. of Miami. I didn't speak Spanish. I didn't <laughs> stay there. No. That's my one regret in life: not learning another language. Yeah. But coming to, uh, I mean, I came back. I graduated spring break senior year. Everybody goes to Florida, right? Yeah. I came home to visit mom and dad, and I got my job. Cable was first starting in Brockton at that point. Wow. And then I left, went to Holbrook, went to Sharon, went to Foxborough, then I came back. Yeah. Full circle. And uh, the de planning department was kind of key in the whole implementation of cable back in, I'm old, <laughs> so back in 1983. That's how long ago it was. And I've yeah. been doing cable for 33 years. Wow. But it's good to promote the community. I enjoy it very much, yeah. very involved Somebody in the community. Needs to. And it's nice to have a new face. Yeah, and I okay. will be here for the next 33 years myself. Okay, so there you go. This is well, you'll be running the, when, when, when Robert retires, you can, I hope you can so. run the BRA. Yes, Okay. I hope so. Two minutes. So uh, you have a Facebook, you said. Yes. Is it, is it Prava, Prava Brockton. Prava Brockton. And um, it's spelled P-R-O-V-A. Yes. Yes. Not how it sounds because it's Cape Verde. And yes. Creole. And uh, how is there a so is there a website too or just the Facebook? Um, just the Facebook. So we have the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, we had a website that we were using for a fundraising. You can still find information there. It's um, on Patronicity. Okay. Um, and you can search for Prava and you can find some information there. Um, but most of where we're putting out all of the new information is through the Facebook, through the social medias. There will be posters. Um, around downtown. And we're going to give you this link so you can put it right on Facebook. Yes. If you want to. Yes, we will. Okay, see, I told you it's I... not, it's fun to be on TV. Well, you're going to be a regular guy. Okay? I'm going to make sure that post is not cashiered. <laughs> oh, jeez, come on. Um, hey, they tell me I have a face for radio. You're very photogenic for television. So I don't... am not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. Now, how about a phone number at the BRA? Just to, uh, um, for someone that it, you know, maybe isn't into all the social media technology. What's yeah, absolutely. Um, it's 508-586-3887. Okay. And I'm extension four. Um, extension so I'm four. actually the chairperson oh, wow. of Prava. Um, and that's how I was nominated to come here today. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I know. You guys had a, you, you guys had a contest to come on. Now, are you going to be, yes. like, at the Cape Verde Festival promoting it at the end of the month? Um, likely. I hope, know hopefully by then it won't need to be to promoted. You know how many people go there? It's the biggest yeah. event in Brockton. Well, and everybody by then should know about it if it's the end of August. So that's yeah, our yeah, hope right now. You get a lot of people from other people to come to that event. Really? Oh, yeah, Cape Verdeans come from all wow. over Massachusetts. We have one of the largest populations. So that's what's nice yeah, about we probably, Brockton. Yeah, we probably will. Diversity. And I, I will yes. tell you something. Some of the Cape Verdean beer is really good. Some of the Haitian beer is very good. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I know you have, what is it? Shovel Town, Town which is Easton. Yep, they're Easton. So they're, they will be our consistent brewery all season long, um, and we will have different food vendors coming in every guess night. Guess what? We've got the high sign, so you're off the hook. How's that? Good. We'll have you back. Yes. Okay, thanks for being Thank there. Thank you Pleasure for having to meet me. You. you as well. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.